Here's how you can use Obsidian to manage your daily Bible reading. If you haven't heard of Obsidian, it's basically this open source knowledge base that operates off of local markdown files on your computer. It's free, it's lightweight, and it really lets you create a very cool interconnected database of all of your notes. And one of my favorite parts about Obsidian is that you can extend it with all kinds of plugins. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use a few really simple plugins to create a daily Bible reading plan that populates my daily note with exactly what I need to read in the Word today. So let me begin by showing you what my objective was in all of this. When I opened up my daily note in Obsidian, I wanted a template to populate this little section, today's Bible reading, with whatever I needed to read next in my Read a Bible in a Year plan. And I wanted it to be so simple that when I finished the reading for the day, I could simply mark it done and it would go away. So here's how I was able to accomplish that with just a few simple plugins. So if you're new to Obsidian, to install plugins, you just go down here to the little settings icon, the little cog, and you have some options here for core plugins and community plugins. And I, I used three plugins to accomplish this. So the first core plugin is Daily Notes. And so if that's off in years, you just toggle it on. And that enables this menu here. So you can set up a folder in your Obsidian Vault. Mine's just called Daily. And in there, it creates a new note for each day. So I can show you over here. Here's the Daily folder. And under here are notes for each day. Or it also creates this new icon, Open to Today's Note. And it'll jump you to that day. This is a great plugin if you want to use Obsidian like a journal, or if you were used to Rome Research like I was, this is a great way to implement that sort of daily note type thing which Rome Research is built around. The second core plugin we're going to use is the Templates plugin. Once again, you go to the Core Plugins menu, you go to Templates, and you make sure that's toggled on. That will enable a menu here called Templates. When you go in there, it allows you to set a template location. This is just, again, like Daily Notes, it's a folder that's going to hold your template files. Mine, I just called Templates. I know, very creative. And I created one template in there called Daily Template. Templates files simply allow you to create stuff that you want to reuse again and again. So I made a daily one, which just has an outline of the type of stuff I want to cover each day in my daily note. I have some prompts about how you're feeling today, the Bible reading, which is the point of this video, some writing things and some other stuff. But the point really is this daily Bible reading. So we'll come back to this in just a moment, but I need to show you the tasks plugin, which is what I'm using to generate the daily Bible reading. This plugin is one of the community plugins. And in order to use that, you're going to need to make sure that safe mode is off. That's basically Obsidian's way of saying these plugins are not officially supported. We take no responsibility, but the one I'm showing you is one of the most highly rated community plugins. You should be pretty safe. So make sure that that is toggled off like mine is. And then you're going to want to go to browse. You'll search for tasks. And this first one here by Martin Schenk is the one that you want. You'll go here, you'll hit install and enable. And then just like the core plugins, that will enable a new menu here called Tasks, which there's actually nothing we need to do in this. We can just start using it. So the great thing about this plugin versus using the default tasks that work in Obsidian when just out of the box is this allows you to query. So you can actually query tasks across your entire vault and you can use due dates and done dates and all kinds of filtering. For our purposes, we're using a very simple query that's going to pull in our Bible reading. But first we need to start by creating a note that's going to contain our Bible in a year plan. So let me show you that. So I made this file called 2022 Bible reading plan, and it's based on this Bible reading plan here. It's called the five day Bible reading program. This is a printable PDF. I'll include a link to this in the description if you want to try this one. It's totally free, but I needed to turn this into something that Obsidian could use. So in order to do that, I simply came in here and I highlighted each column. I copied it 
I took it over to VS Code, which is a free IDE. It just makes it easy to do find and replace stuff, but you could do this in Word or text edit. I just like doing it here. And you see how it has this little symbol here that it grabbed and it doesn't know what it is. I just highlighted that, copied it. I did a find and I replaced it with what Obsidian uses in Markdown to denote that something is a task. It's just a hyphen, space, open, bra open square bracket, space, close square bracket, and then I put a space there as well. And then all I did was replace all, and there they are beautifully. And then I took this, brought it back into Obsidian. Let me put this in edit mode so you can see. And I just pasted them in and I went through the whole document and did every single one of these. And I take it into preview mode. They're all there as tasks. Now, initially, they don't have these little due dates next to them. Initially, they just look like this. But these due dates are part of the tasks plugin I showed you. It just uses this emoji plus uh, a date formatted year, month, day, just like your daily notes are. So I came through and I literally just copy and pasted the due dates in front of each of these and then just changed the, the days. I'm doing a five day a week reading plan. So if you were doing a seven day a week Bible reading plan, this would actually be super easy to do in Excel. You could just grab the corner and like drag it down so that it would automatically repeat the dates. For me, it's not a big deal. It's only 52 weeks. Uh, each week or so, I'm just adding the new dates as they come up. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do the repeating dates, but this is not a big deal to me. Now that you've got your Bible reading plan set up with due dates in Obsidian as its own note, now you're gonna to wanna to create your daily note template. You can see that over here, slash templates, and under it is this single template, daily template. So within here, I have some stuff that I do for my whole morning routine. You can ignore all of this. For now, maybe I'll do a video on the rest of this some other time. But for our purposes, we're just concerned with this daily Bible reading section. So let me explain to you what's going on here. This right here is that tasks template at work. This is using its little querying language to do a very simple search for tasks in your vault. So here's how it works. You just do back tick, back tick, back tick, tasks. And then to close it, you do back tick, back tick, back tick. And then in the middle, what am I asking? I'm asking Obsidian to look for anything that is not done so it doesn't have the checkbox checked yet. That is in this path that includes 2022 Bible reading plan. That means it's just gonna search in this note here that has my Bible reading plan for it. So it's not pulling in tasks from all across my database. And it is due, actually this should say before. It is due before tomorrow. And this means instead of pulling in every single thing that's not done in my Bible reading plan, it's gonna show me everything that is due before tomorrow. Now you could have it say just due on today. And that when you put this into your daily note, it's gonna populate the today with whatever today's date is. And if it did that, then you would only see that day's Bible reading plan. But the reason I did it before tomorrow is because I want it to show me if there are any days that I've missed as well. Because sometimes, you know, throughout the year, you might get behind. I want when I open up my daily note that I know exactly what I need to do to get back on track with my Bible reading plan. Next, what you would do is each day when you started your daily note, you would put this template in here. Now, since I already did today's note, I'm just going to do it in a random file. Let's call it today's note demo. You can just hit command P and you can type in template, insert template. And I only have one template, so it put the only one in there. If you had more than one template, it would uh, give you options which one to use. But this is the template we just made. Now, if we turn this into preview mode, we can see it render the query. There are all the Bible reading segments that are due before tomorrow. So that includes today's the sixth when I'm recording this. So that includes today's, but I unchecked a few in the file so that you could see if there were any that you got behind on. So what's cool about this is if you check them off here, it also checks them off in the Bible reading note. So if I jump over here, you can see there I am in week one. It's just pulling in these. If I check them off here also, and I go back to that note, it's gone here as well. Pretty simple, honestly, if you're an advanced Obsidian user, 
um, you, this is probably a piece of cake to you, but I was looking for a way to do this and this checked all the boxes and it did it with minimal plugin overhead. Another thing I really like, you'll notice this in a couple of these first ones, is I've linked them to the Bible passage. So I actually have most of the Bible in my Obsidian now. And if I turn these into their own notes, I can see the actual chapters right there. And so I like that. It's if, if you want to do the extra work, you could actually jump to and do all your Bible reading right within Obsidian, which is pretty cool. I've been doing my entire morning routine right within Obsidian each morning. I do a little bit of journaling, my Baba reading. I write down my prayers. I plan my day, look ahead at my schedule. It's been really, really nice. And if you're a Christian who's interested in refining your morning routine, getting your devotions a little bit more on track, make sure you're waking up at the same time each day so you can be a bit more productive. I actually have a free PDF that helps you plan a Christ honoring morning routine. It's completely free. You can get it by going to redeemingproductivity.com slash morning. There's also a link down in the description. Again, that is totally free. It just walks you through a simple list of how to plan your morning routine, what to include, how to make sure you get enough sleep. And by the end of it, you will actually have a written plan of action for each day. I even include some worksheets to help you schedule things. That's yours for free. Just go to redeemingproductivity.com slash morning. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.